In today's video, I want to address the question of whether the high-end safari lodges in Africa can maintain an environmental sensitivity to protect the land and the animals that we all love and come on safari to see. So are these high-end lodges sacrificing the the environment in, in order to provide luxury? So that's the question I'm gonna address today and I think it's a really important one because I used to think that all of these high-end lodges were really over the top with huge footprints on the land and doing things so excessively that I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. But I have had a change of view and I'm gonna show you and talk to you about it in today's video. So I hope you enjoy it. To answer that question, I thought, what a better place to do it than at one of the top brand lodges, which is Singita. And this lodge happens to be Lombombo, but they have a lot of lodges around Africa and they're one considered one of the top luxury brands. And they are super sensitive to the environment. In fact, they have the largest solar panel system in all of the Southern Hemisphere, which is kind of amazing. It's the size of four football fields. They have built the entire lodge with the sensitivity to the footprint. So the entire lodge is built up and even the pillars like these, this, you know, there was a library at the top of this um, metal cement pillar and it doesn't even go into the ground that far. So if they have to take this lodge apart, it would be a pretty easy, comparatively um, exercise. So they've built, even all the decks are above ground so that there's a small footprint. The whole thing, even though they have air conditioning in each room the, and they have pools, the whole thing is built um, with using solar panels like I just mentioned. It's absolutely stunning. So you, I don't think you need to sacrifice the stunningness of a lodge sacrifice the environment to have to have beauty and comfort they recycle their water they have a borehole but they also recycle their water and they do they do have a rain catchment system as well I didn't see the entire time I was here I've been here for three days I didn't see any use of single use plastic so they've gotten rid of all of that altogether um, what else? I think they've used as many sort of natural uh, materials as they can in the building of this place, as I mentioned. Their food is sourced locally from um, environmentally sensitive places and gardens that are made by the local community. They have a lot of projects within the local communities so that not only do they hire staff from the local communities, but they also um, provide clinics and schools and support. And that is one of the things I think that is so important that these luxury lodges spend a lot of time and money um, involving the local communities and helping the local communities. And that in turn teaches them why their environment that they live in is so important, why these animals are so important. So I think that the luxury lodges in some ways are actually better at this um, being more sensitive to the environment and helping the environment than some of the non-luxury lodges. I just stayed at a government-run uh, lodge in Kruger, and there were about 300 bedrooms there. There was no solar panels. They all had air conditioning. There was no luxury. There was no beauty. There was no aesthetic. You can check out my video that I did on it. And they weren't sensitive to the environment. They aren't sourcing from gardens. They aren't working with the local communities. So. I have ha had a change of heart in terms of why I think it's important to support these higher end lodges and, and ask questions of them of what are they doing for the local community and how are they keeping a smaller footprint and how do they handle their huge energy and water costs. And, um, and you'll find that the answers to these questions are super inspiring. So I hope that you will check out some of my other videos and. Um, and really consider staying at some of these higher end places so that you can support what they're doing uh, for the communities, for the environment, and for the lands and animals that we all love. And it's, it's the reason we come here, so why not support 
as much as we can um, projects and lodges that are in line with what we're hoping to protect and save. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to call me. You can go to my site, savingwild.com, and I would be happy to put together an itinerary for you staying at some of these higher-end lodges.